This is a very interesting question. Here we are trying to find instantaneous rate of change for absolute function. Okay. The question is, show that the instantaneous rate of change cannot be estimated at x equals to 0 for f of x equals to absolute x. Why? Well, so it is a continuous function, right? So sometimes the functions are not continuous and therefore we may not be in a position to find instantaneous rate of change at that point. But this is kind of a unique uh, uh, function where the function is continuous but still we are not able to find the instantaneous rate of change at zero, right? This is our zero, right? Why is it so? Graphically I can show you uh, well, many people can't give this, they think it is zero because this line seems to be tangent to this, right? Uh, so, well, you, you could say, well, this line is a tangent to it. But how about this line, right? This line also touches the point at one point. Do you see? So, like this, I can draw so many lines which will touch this curve at origin only at one point, right? Think like this. This is your plane, right? And so, well, this is my point. So, this plane, any line on this plane, going like this will be tangent to this function which is like this. Do you see that? So any point on this plane will be tangent to this, right? So there are so many lines and you don't know slope of which line fits into our definition, right? Even the line which is coinciding with this, which has a slope of plus one, uh, could be tangent. Well, it just touches at one point, kind of, right? Uh, slightly away like this, it will be a tangent, right? Kind of, right? So, uh, you know, it, so the slope of this line, slope of this line, and any line in between at this point could be tangent to your function f of x equals to absolute x. So, therefore, we are not certain which line to take, and so we are unable to find, and we say that it cannot be found at origin. That's one way of explaining it. The other way of explaining it is, that normally how do we find instantaneous rate of change? So what we do is we just plug in values, right? We want to find instantaneous rate of change at zero. Let's say you want to find, let's say, uh, instantaneous rate of change at zero. So what do we do is we try to find a point very close to zero and then see what is the uh, rate of change, right? So we consider points at very close to zero. Let's say we go from here and try to find a point at, let us say, 0 0.1, right? Minus 0 0.1, let us say, right? So if I take a point from 0 to 0 0.1, then the slope between 0 0.1 minus will be on this side of the curve, right? Will lie on this line, right? And so the slope will be, this is kind of y equals to minus x, and this line is kind of y equals to plus x, right? So slope of any two points on this line will always be 1, here also any two points will always be one, right? Now let us assume this is my, let us assume that this point is minus 0 0.1, okay? Now as we go closer and closer, the slope, right? Let's say this is the slope, right? Or let me write slope here, right? And these are different x values. So slope between the x value and origin, slope between x and origin we are taking, right? So y2 minus 0 over y x2 uh, minus 0, right? So those are the points that you are considering. So we can see from here that if I consider this point and this point, the slope is minus 1. It is minus 1. If I go more closer, let's say point zero one, still that point come closer, for example, here, uh, but still the slope is minus 1. Even if you come very, very close, the slope remains minus 1. Do you see that? But as soon as you go to plus side, the slope all of a sudden becomes plus one, right? So the slope is not approaching any value. Slope is not approaching any value. Since, so that is a good reason, so make a note of this, since the slope or rate of change is abruptly changing, from minus 1 to plus 1, right? Or we can say not approaching, not approaching any
any particular value, right? Abruptly changing to this or not approaching any particular value, we say instantaneous rate of change cannot be estimated. Right? Or we should not write this, we should write and because I think this is this is more important. And not approaching any particular value, right? Since the slope is abruptly changing from minus one to this, comma, and not approaching any particular value, we say that instantaneous will root the same rate of change cannot be estimated right if it had been if it would have been approaching some value we could have estimated that value is our answer but now it is not approaching any value it remains minus one minus one and then becomes plus one plus one all throughout correct you see that so these are two ways to explain this uh, question which is normally asked in the communication so I'll appreciate if you do more research and find some better answers to post them, okay? Thank you.